You know, Brian, Terry, and I always record our videos alone, and we always wished we had a cameraman that could help us. Well, now we have a new apparatus that we purchased that will allow us to have somebody that can tilt up, that can tilt down, and can tilt to left or to the right. There's Zoe back there. I was uh, doing that with my new Smooth, and watch this. I can even zoom in and zoom out. So hopefully something to make our uh, videos a little more enjoyable to watch. Hi, welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Sometimes I think technology is a miracle. It really is amazing what man has come up with. But you know, during my wife's battle with cancer, we saw God's miracles, true miracles at work. And I'm going to tell you one of them from my book, Hurricane of Love, published by Westbow Press. And you can go to westbowpress.com go into the uh, bookstore and search my name, Dan Wheeler or Hurricane of Love, and you can order it. But here's something that happened to us. It was amazing. It was uh, several days before Beth passed away, but she had decided to stop all treatment. And I have a neighbor named Daryl, and Daryl is a wonderful guy. He loves the Lord with all of his heart, and he was up all night uh, one time feeling like God had a message for him to give to Beth. And he showed up at my door the next morning and I tapped on the door and I let him in and he wanted to see Beth. Well, Beth hadn't been cleaned up and she was barely awake, so Daryl said he would wait. He waited 45 minutes and I'm gonna read a passage. When I brought him into the room, he exclaimed, Beth, I've got good news. This is a time for celebration because Jesus is present with you and you are going to be healed. He then shared the story of the woman who had an issue with her blood from Matthew chapter nine in the Bible. This was profound in and of itself because Daryl didn't know that Beth's problem was with the platelets in her blood. In the biblical account, the woman knows that Jesus is walking by and she believes if she can just touch his cloak, she will be healed. So Daryl said to her, Beth, listen to me, if you get scared, close your eyes and picture Jesus, he's here. Then reach out and touch him. And remember, if God chooses to completely heal you now, you will be able to get up out of this bed and enjoy the rest of your life with your family. But if God restores you to a perfect body in heaven, you will get to leave this mess of a world before the rest of us who, right be, who are right behind you. You know, I remember that, and the story goes on to say, I walked Daryl out, and I thanked him, and I had tears in my eyes, and I said, Daryl, that was powerful. That was amazing. And he said, well, Dan, that wasn't me talking. He said, I'm not an eloquent speaker like that, but I, I'm amazed at how it came out. That was God speaking through me. And you know, the real part of the miracle is that Beth was, was unable to lift her hands to reach up to touch Jesus. Her hands were swollen. Her body was filling with fluid. She couldn't even wipe a tear away from her eye. But several times over the next few days when her eyes were closed, we thought she was asleep, we would see her hands go straight up in the air. She was reaching out to touch Jesus. That's a real miracle. And you know what? God's got a miracle for you. He can find a way out. He can do amazing things. When man says it's impossible, God says it's possible. I hope that helps you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.